My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. It is my absolute pleasure to present to you this 1936 Ford convertible sedan. What a fantastic car. It's been body off frame restored, genuine leather interior. It's got the flathead V8, uh, restored to factory condition. It's from a very prominent uh, car collection that got sold off, uh, probably close to 50 uh, really impressive antique cars. Uh, and this is one of them. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study all the pictures. That's where you find price tags on every one of our cars. And along with the price tag, they'll have the monthly finance amount. Yes, we do finance uh, all the collector cars that we sell. Go to volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, that top is down. Let's go for a spin. And I helped put the top down. I wanted to make sure they didn't mess anything up. Uh, and actually, it wasn't uh, so bad putting the top down. <clears throat> The turntable's creaking. Uh, so anyway, yeah, this is from a collection, and I was just reading up about the collection. You had Packard V12s. I mean, some really nice stuff. The first car, the first collector car that he bought was a 36 Ford back in 1958. That's what started his passion for the collector cars. So here we have a 36 Ford Deluxe convertible sedan. Uh, the top goes up. There's the middle pillars, and it has windows, so it all, all seals up real nice. Uh, the Phaeton uh, would have side curtains. You don't have windows to roll up on a Phaeton. Uh, that's the big difference. Uh, so anyway, I don't know when it was restored, maybe 20 years ago or something, but the body was off the frame. The whole chassis is clean, straight metal. It's all painted black, looks real good. Uh, the underbody of the car is painted the same color, uh, and everything just looks proper, looks nice. I don't know what more to say about it. It's got the correct single exhaust under there. Uh, mechanical drum brakes. The body is amazing. Uh, this is called Babolino Blue. It was offered for one month, uh, so it's a special color. This is an all steel car. It's a real 1936 Ford. All this metal looking really good. Everything looks really nice. The fender, metal. It's the first year Ford hid the horns uh, behind the grill here. Otherwise, they stuck out. And having two of them tells you it's the deluxe. But right now, I'm looking at the body. The hood is straight. I mean, this, this is a professional restoration. All this is really nice. I'm not seeing any body work, uh, rust or blisters or issues. You know, everything lines up nice, considering it's a 36 Ford. They weren't as perfect as they are today with fit and finishes. Uh, all this, all metal, I don't see any issues. This does have a trunk that opens. No rust, no damage. I do see a, a chip in the paint right there. But now I'm looking at the paint itself. It's smooth, it's glossy, it's not cracking, it's... Uh, not got any issues. I'm, I'm sure there's a couple other, you know, minor nick or insignificant flaw, but for all practical purposes, it's a show quality paint job. Has the Tacoma cream uh, hand pinstripe. Door handles are sparkling. Has the dual mirrors. The chrome around the windshield frame uh, is redone. It's sparkling. It has the dual wipers. That was an option. All the stainless trim, the headlights, glass lenses, the bumpers, the bumper guards, the little rubber uh, seals there. All of this is beautiful. This is really cool. The Greyhound with the V8 logo. That's artwork right there. Got 1936 license plates front and back. They're restored. Paint's beautiful here. It's all looking sharp. Uh, as the first year, they did away with the wire wheels. It has a steel rim. Uh, with the beauty ring and the center cap. It's all shiny, it's all painted and pinstriped, looks real good. Does have the uh, ribbed rubber uh, running boards. 
the welting between the fenders is real nice. Now the convertible top, it's the same color. It's a tan canvas. It's in really nice shape. There are no tears or rips. And again, it, it uh, closes up. There's a pillar that goes in here. The windows seal everything up. It's a two person job. First time we had put the top down, took us a few minutes, but it all folded easily. And believe it or not, the boot slid on well. We snapped it with no problems. Uh, doing it the second time, I bet we can put this whole top down and fold it up in just a few minutes. So it was not that difficult. You got a stainless steel exhaust tip with the V8. They did put some blue dots in the tail lights. Does have a locking gas cap with the Ford script right on it. That's an option. Uh, I think having two tail lights would be an option or, or part of the deluxe. Hidden underneath here, you do have some chrome hinges. So why don't we uh, check out the inside? So you do use the key. These are locking latches uh, down here. And we realize once the convertible top is folded down, you can't open the trunk all the way. When the top was not in the way, this opened all the way up and you know, locked in the open position. Uh, but it's all restored in there. Uh, it's all lined and the wood is refinished and it has a, a tire that's never been used, so it has the nubs on it. So it's actually a beautiful trunk compartment. There's a plastic tote in there. It has some of the hardware you'll use for the uh, convertible top. And then just take a quick glimpse inside the fender. You can see it's all painted green, new nuts and bolts. This was a complete restoration. Body off frame. Inside the car is restored beautifully. The metal trim is painted. It's all upholstered, all the chrome handles. I got a little ashtray here. Got nice uh, carpets. There's a couple snags in the carpet, but overall very nice. Got bound edges. Now the seats are genuine leather, nice soft leather upholstery on the seats. Same thing up in front. GMs are painted. The window seals were replaced. You got chrome latches. Dash is painted. The instruments are overall very good condition. It all looks real nice. It has an optional radio. Big deal at the time. It has an optional clock. Glove box is real nice. It has an optional heater. I don't know if any of this stuff works, but it has it. Uh, look at the V8 logo. They liked using their V8 logo. There it is on the gear shift knob. And here it is on the horn button. This is the banjo wheel, because this looks like a banjo right here. Now, that was an option. That's a deluxe wheel. And again, leather seat. You got a nice rubber mat. All the trim, everything's very nice. It's really why I bought the car. The one, it's a cool car, and two, the condition. If it was just an old average car, it just needed a, you know, a little fixing up, I wouldn't have touched it. This thing's really nice. Now they're calling it a 21 stud uh, flathead V8. Uh, these are the studs. I don't know if that's significant, but that's what the uh, information was calling it. Everything is restored and proper. Look at the plug wires, the intake, the throttle, uh, the breather, the generator, the cloth wrapped wiring, the hose clamps. Everything's restored and restored very well. It looks very proper to me. Runs smooth.
So let me ask you this. When's the last time you've seen a four-door convertible? They made the Lincoln in the 60s, but other than that, you had to go way back in time to see a four-door convertible. They haven't made one in a long, long time. Really cool car. Just beautiful to look at. You can just park this and just admire it. You can get out and drive it. It's a horrible day uh, today. Otherwise, I would be taking it home. I really can't wait to take this for a drive. I just want to hear the sound of that motor and just get the feel for it. Uh, I can't wait to do that. Uh, but for right now, there you have it. Go to volocars.com. I gave you my impression. Uh, salesmen can help answer your questions. They can help you with that financing. They can help get it delivered to your door. That's at volocars.com to get help. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're enjoying the videos and click on the bell icon so you can be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.